string is nothing but it is a group of characters which is enclosed between the quotes string slicing will help me to divide the main string into substring capitalize is a one of the string manipulation method is lower will give you true if all the characters in the strings are in the lower case hello everybody i welcome all of you to the second session on string manipulations so before i start the session for all of you so guys let us have a quick recap what is that i have discussed in the previous session right so without wasting much of your time let's start right what is that i have discussed in the last session i have discussed what exactly the string is all about so what is the meaning of it we have understood the definition of string string is nothing but it is a group of characters which is enclosed between the quotes right so how exactly we represent the string in the memory location so guys that is what you need to understand suppose if i take a variable a so i will be storing like this this is my string hello is my string which i have stored in a variable a how exactly this is represented in the memory let's have a quick look guys this is how this string is represented in the memory so right i have hello in the memory how exactly i will be able to identify this so with the help of the name of the string right so a is the name of the string and how will i be able to access all the characters that i have stored in the string so guys please observe i have something called indexing 0 1 2 3 4 so what exactly so why are you calling why are you using zero in the beginning we have two different types of indexing one is forward indexing and another one is backward indexing when it comes to the concept of forward indexing so please remember i always start with zero i always start with zero and this is what i will call it as forward indexing remember we have two types of indexing this is what i will call it as forward indexing then what is the next type that we have we have something called backward indexing right so i always start backward indexing from the last element of the string so and also it is from minus 1 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 this is what i will call it as backward indexing this is what i will call it as backward indexing so this is the first concept with respect to the string you have to remember so what is the next one that we need to remember it is very important strings are immutable that's that is what you need to remember what is that strings are immutable you cannot change the element whatever you have here what is the meaning of it so for example a of 0 a of 0 is equal to p i cannot replace the h and p guys in the place of h i cannot place this p so that is not possible so this concept is what i will call it as immutable this concept is what i will call it as immutable so strings come to the category of immutable data type that is one of the important point that you should remember fine so we understood this what is the next important topic that you have discussed so the next important topic is operators which is the different operators that i use with strings let's start one by one so guys all of you will be familiar with this plus so what is this operator so this is what i will call it as a concatenation operator this is what i will call it as a concatenation operator so and also why do i use this concatenation operator if i want to perform the addition of two strings so probably i have given this example in the previous session power okay is it is it so the same example guys this operator is what i will call it as a concatenation operator so this operator will give me the output that is powerful so it adds two different string is what you need to remember so i have the next operator that is replicator operator the star is what i will call it as a replicator operator if i want to multiply the string content so i will be using the replicator operator so that is what you need to remember so this is about the 
concatenation and the replicator operator and also we have two more one is membership operator another one is comparison operator this is all about the operators that i have discussed in the previous session so fine so what is the next thing uh, that we need to discuss uh, the last thing that i spoke in the previous session is all about the string slicing please remember so string slicing so guys string slicing will help me to divide the main string into substrings different parts of the strings so what are the syntax for that so hope you remember all those things let me just uh, recollect all those things for all of you i have to write start colon i have to write colon so stop colon step this is the syntax that you should remember here i will be writing the name of the string so i'll be writing the name of the string this is the syntax that you should remember if you want to perform the string slicing right so this is what i have discussed in the last session for all of you then what is that are you going to discuss in today's session so a very important topic with respect to strings that is strings manipulation how do i manipulate the string is what i'm going to discuss with the help of string functions and methods that i have already in python right so without wasting much of your time let me get into the topic string methods so basically what is that you have to remember we have a very good number of predefined string functions in python so that is helping us to have all the facilities all the operations that i can perform on string that is the first important point that you should remember the second point that you should remember is each and every object that we create i will repeat for all of you please remember every python object that we create in python is actually an instance of string class whatever the object that i create i will repeat for all of you please understand this is a very important point that all of you should understand whatever the object that i create in python so each and every object is an instance is a copy of string class in python in python programming language i treat everything as a object i treat everything as a object whatever the object that i create basically that is a copy of string class that is a copy of string class is what you need to understand all right so then what is the syntax that i have to use for the string manipulation yes here is a syntax for all of you first you have to write the string object you have to write the string object followed by you have to use dot operator you have to use dot operator with the help of dot operator you will be able to access the method names you will be able to access the different method names that you want to perform on the particular object right so this is the general syntax that you should remember for example i have uh, a is equal to hello what is that i have a is equal to hello so what is the object here which one is the object here so a is a string object a is a string object then how do you how do you write this so a dot whatever the method name that you have so you will write it followed by that so what method that you will write so that changes will be done to this string content whatever you have in this object is what you need to remember so no clarity for all of you yes i have an example in the coming slide i'll be explaining that with the example just you have to remember you should understand that the first thing is string object then i will be using the method name is what you need to understand at this point of time moving on to the next slide let's start with the first method that i have so guys this is a string that i am considering so please understand this is a object this is a object can i write a dot capitalize yes you can write sir a dot capitalize you can write what exactly the statement is all about sir so i have taken something like this string is equal to a b c you can imagine like this here the string is a variable so i should not call it as a variable instead i should call it as a string object i should call it as a string object 
सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस इज नॉट अ की वर्ड दिस इज नॉट अ की वर्ड एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई एम यूजिंग स्मॉल एस सो दिस इज नॉट अ की वर्ड एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो दिस इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट ए यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट बी सो वट एवर यू वॉन्ट द स्ट्रिंग ऑब्जेक्ट यू कैन टेक इट इन दिस एग्जाम्पल प्लीज डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज सिंस आई हैव टेकन इट इज अ स्ट्रिंग वाई आई हैव टेकन इट इज अ स्ट्रिंग बिकॉज इन इवन इन द टेक्सट बुक दे स्पीक विद दिस वर्ड सो यू शूड नॉट गेट कंफ्यूजन सो दैट दैट इज द रीजन आई हैव टेकन द सेम वर्ड राइट फाइन सो वॉट एग्जैक्टली दिस मेथड होप यू हैव द clarity with the statement right so i'll be taking the same example with different names in the coming slides so please be clear about this point so i'll not be speaking again and again about this right you have string object dot capitalize capitalize is a one of the string manipulation method that we have what exactly the role of capitalize here capitalize is a method that we have which will convert the first letter of the string into uppercase right so what is that so guys it returns a copy of the string exactly but the first character will be capitalized the first character will be capitalized if i use this method if i use this method is what you need to understand right moving on to the next one i have a is alum what is that i have is alum for example i can just write a dot is alum what why should i use is alum please understand whenever i use is you need to understand that i'm checking i'm checking that right so what are you checking so whatever the string that i have in the string object is it a alpha numeric is it a combination of both alphabets and number is what i'm trying to check suppose if the given string is alpha numeric that is a combination of alphabets and number then it will return true otherwise it will return false is what you need to understand so a dot is alum is alum is a function that i'll be using suppose if a i have a b c 1 2 3 so guys it will return true or false it will return true so your result will be in the form of true or false that is what you need to understand right moving on to the next method so same thing i have here is again it is checking what exactly it is checking so alpha it returns true if all the characters that i have in the string is alphabets it returns true if i have all the characters in the string object as characters so guys that is what you need to remember it's very simple very easy to remember so the same way a is equal to a b c so guys a dot is alpha is alpha function so it returns true this is what you need to remember right moving on to the next one so what exactly in the next one i have is digit what is is digit so please understand it returns true if all the characters in the strings or digits right so what exactly it means a is equal to 1 2 3 a is equal to 1 2 3 so you're not using quotes i don't have to because it is not characters it's digits right so what i will be writing a dot is digit a dot is digits so guys so this will give me true suppose if i write so something like this then it returns false is what you need to understand right so moving on to the next one that i have is lower what exactly it means whenever it comes to is your answer will be in the form of true or false is lower will give you true if all the characters in the strings are in the lower case is what you need to understand right so fine in the same way i have is space what exactly is space is doing right so i have the string i have given one space then i am starting a b c and i am closing it i have one blank space suppose if at all at least if i have one space character even the space is treated as character in the string if i have one space character it will return true otherwise it will return false for all of you so if i use the function that is e space to check whether i have space character 
or not, I will be using this function in fact, right? So, moving on to the next one, is upper. So, guys, test whether all the characters, guys, whatever I have, all the characters, if it is in the upper case, it returns true or it will return false. Guys, returns a copy of the string converted to lowercase. When it will return a copy of lowercase, whatever the string that I have, so all the characters which is present in the string will be converted into lowercase. For example, I have something like this, hello. Okay, so if I use a dot lower, right, a dot lower. So guys, I will be storing it in a separate variable, right? What will happen here? So this function will convert everything, whatever I have here. So if I print B, so if I print, what will be my output? If I print B, so my output will be hello. All the character, whatever I have here, it will get converted into smaller case, that is in the lower case, what you need to understand, right? I have same thing like, you know, the previous one, uppercase will convert all the characters into uppercase is what you need to understand. There is no much thing to discuss about it. So, I have come to an end of string manipulation. This is what you need to understand and remember with respect to the string manipulation. So, guys, with this, I have come to an end. So, please take care of your health. Take care of your family. Go through this content again and again. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next session.